We're on FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Hemel Hempstead away in the National League South. Adam, first uh, last game before we go into Christmas, how are you feeling going into it? Yeah, obviously, um, you know, can't come soon enough after you have a, a good result um, home against Maidstone. Um, so yeah, we just want to take the little bit of uh, positivity and the confidence and, and everything from that game and, and take it into Saturday. Um, yeah, like I say, the, the last one before Christmas, but things start heating up a little bit. I think it's um, a good time to take stock, really. I believe Saturday's game will mark like halfway point in the season, so it's a good um, opportunity halfway through the year just to take stock of, of where we are. Um, Points-wise, goals for, goals against, and wins and losses, and you know, see, see, see where we are, and that's a good, good time to, to take stock really. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to um, take stock having got to, to forty points. And where we are right now, as you say, we could be on forty points if we win Saturday. We're in the playoffs now, so a good position to be in. Is this whereabouts you wanted to be at this point in the season? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, we'd like to still be in a couple of cup competitions um, which we're not in but um, you know that does allow us then to focus a little bit more on the league but yeah this is where we wanted to be I mean I'm not 100% sure of where we were um, this time last year but I know we had a really good January last year so you know, I'd be looking to, to try and implement that and do the same and keep us up there um, and, and it's games like Saturday that are important um, you know, on the road we've been a bit hit and miss we can blow teams away but we can also concede a lot of goals in a short space of time so it's definitely that we're not the finished article we've got lots to improve on and we want to try and you know put put things right on, on Saturday. Hemel were a pair of quite close games last season I think the home one we were a little bit above them but that away one in particular the one all draw uh, what do you expect from them this time around? I thought actually the last year we played excellent there first off, um, you know, created loads of chances, um, just didn't, didn't quite take them on the day, so yeah, just to add that bit of ruthlessness to our game and if we get some chances um, to be ready to take them, uh, that's the sort of next progression, but I thought it was a really good performance, um, you know, the, the pitch is another 3G surface, so um, we'll be used to playing on that, that type of pitch, uh, so there'll be no complaints there, and you know, yeah, it's going to be going to be a tough game. There's no easy game in this league, but um, yeah, we're just trying to focus on ourselves and, and pick up from from where we were last week. And where we were last week was a, a great place. Uh, just a few final thoughts on Saturday. You probably had a chance to look back on it. What have you thought? And what were your biggest highlights from that performance? Um, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, I, I thought even eleven v eleven we create some good chances. Um, I will be disappointed with himself with one of them that got set back. Um, you know, there was a, another chance in there as well. I can't remember who was on the end of it, but you know, even 11 v 11, there were some some uh, good chances for us. But obviously, them going down to 10 um, changes changes things. But uh, it's not always just plain sailing. So you still got to perform. Um, I remember last year we went to Slough and they went down to nine, and we weren't managed. Um, able to capitalise and, and, and put the game to bed. So, um, yeah, you've still got to be uh, playing some good stuff to, to score um, and create the chances that we did. So, yeah, we want to wanna build on that, that positivity and um, uh, try and take that, build on that momentum and, and that positive play, um, like I say, uh, not just Saturday, but in the foreseeable few weeks as well. And uh, looking at the squad, you had the week to train and sort of should know where about everyone's at. Uh, how's the team looking, and is there anyone you might be missing? Um, no, I think the the only one really is Kane. He was struggling with his calf on Saturday. Um, then when we trained this week, he's, he's felt it again. So um, he's the one that might might have a slight doubt. But yeah, we've got to manage the squad. I think you know Saturday, Tuesday, um, you know three G, and then back at home on three G. So. Um, We've got, got to look at that, got to look at the, the load from everybody uh, and make sure that we can play with the, you know, I thought key thing for us was the, the energy that we played with. Um, we think of made some a minute's piece on the ball and pressed really well. So that's got to be an important part of our play. Um, so we've got to make sure we've got fit legs um, on the pitch to be able to do that. So yeah, we're going to have to utilise the squad uh, Saturday, Tuesday and expect to see a few changes and, and freshen it up and um, you know that's the challenge to, to not let the, the performances um, you know dip it in any way even though we're going to change some personnel. Yeah um, but you've got plenty of squad there, um, plenty of options in that midfield area as well to replace Kane potentially. 
No, yeah, we have um, classes obviously done with his suspension now. So, you know, we've got building back in. Um, I thought he was excellent when he came on, um, but he's got like start games like that. Um, so, you know, obviously a day, play a couple of roles for us. Um, Joe Felix can play in there, Ricky can play in there, Chopper can play in there, um, Finn Chavik, um, sorry. Uh, so we've got a few few options, um, definitely, which which is nice. And um, like I say, just get a few uh, the four players playing with a bit more sort of confidence, and you know, hopefully we'll be able to get that over the next couple of weeks. And just to veer off the pitch, uh, the news came out this week that a new roof is going to go at the St Elmo's end of the stand of the stadium. So finally a covered end back at that part of Woodside. Perhaps you said a lot recently about how the ball gets sucked in the net the other end where there is that roof and that containment for the atmosphere. How much of an influence do you think that could have on the ground having that improvement? Yeah, I certainly hope so. Um, it's, it's, it's needed. Um, obviously, I think when the rain does come for the kind of crowds we want to generate here, um, you know, it's important that we, we've got cover and we can uh, facilitate fans when it is raining. Uh, because, you know, football season's played throughout the winter months so you know we we do need that and yeah I think it's going to be um, um, a great addition um, you know there's already so much stuff off the pitch um, you know with the fans out and to make the experience a little bit better obviously this building uh, that we're in now and you know the, the catering that we've got over here um, so yeah I think it'll be a, a real um, added uh, bonus to what we've already got and yeah I don't think it, it, the club wants to stop there with developing the, all areas of the ground but yeah if we can generate the same sort of um, noise and everything um, down the other end um, you know it'd be a, a huge sort of boost for us really but you know I think it'd be um, really nice when it's here and um, real good uh, addition to uh, already successful sort of plans going on off the pitch so you know it's, it's important that you've got um, that many fans coming in uh, you want uh, them to enjoy the experience and no matter what the sort of weather conditions are so I think that will really help.